All right, y'all, before we get into the rest of this video, we just wanted to thank Simper for sponsoring today's video. So a lot of y'all might ask, what is Simper and what do they do? Simper is a fragrance subscription service with a mission to empower each and every person to express themselves through scent. I know all y'all love cologne or perfume, so let me get into it. So when it comes down to me, I'm around a lot of people every single day, and they're not gonna wanna be around me if I smell bad. My top three items I use every single day, Scentbird is in. I got my deodorant, I got my moisturizer, and I got my Scentbird cologne. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance to try every single month for just $17. And another cool thing, Scentbird lets you choose exactly what you want so there's no surprises when that package arrives at your doorstep. So a good thing about them, they have a lot of perfumes and colognes and a lot of unisex options, so it's good for me and Raylene. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply so you get to try out any scent before committing to a full-size bottle. They carry all the top designer brands I like, Prada, Gucci, Versace, you name it, they got it. So let me show y'all a fragrance that I like a lot from them, and I'm gonna show you also the fragrances that they sent for Raylene as well. So first up, we got the Tous Man Chill. It's a toilet. It's like an old factory cocktail to feel the chill on your skin. This one makes me feel clean, fresh out the shower, ready to go out the door. So next up, we got the Ikana. It's a parfum, and I'm not gonna lie, this makes me feel like I'm in Florida. It's a unisex, I believe, so I'm able to wear it, Raylene's able to wear it, and we can match. And last but not least, we got the Brown Girl Jane Lamu. This is a parfum as well, but when Raylene puts this on, it makes me feel like we're gonna go to an expensive steakhouse. So as you can see, all you have to do is twist the cap to unlock it, push down, and that's where the perfume or the cologne comes out of. Also, you can open up the bottle to see what fragrance is inside. They also come in a nice scent bird bag. This is where I store all my fragrances from them and they also come with a little piece of paper that explains what is in the fragrance and a breakdown of what it smells like. So if y'all want to go ahead and shop Scentbird, use our code Reese Ray for 55% off your first purchase. That's only $7 for the first month. Available in the USA and Canada. Now back to the rest of the video. What's good YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Reese. And your girl Raylene. And we're back with another video. If you guys are new to our channel, you never seen our face before, make sure hit that subscribe button. Turn that post notification bell on so you're notified every single time we post a Reese and Ray video. So, as you can see in the title, today is a very, very special video. And you guys, if you guys watched our last video, you guys know that our gender reveal is coming up in a few days. Mm -hmm. We're super excited. Finally! And like, honestly, I don't know how, how we've held off this long on not- We had no choice, that's why. We got rid of the, literally, we got rid of the envelope, like, the same day. An hour and a half after we got it, so. And the person that is actually, actually knows the gender, she barely opened it like a this, week ago. Yeah, like the beginning of this, or no, it was like last weekend. Yeah. Because she didn't want to like give it up on accident or anything, which honestly is very smart, but me, I'm nosy and I would have wanted to know, but. And yeah. she said she's wearing all black to the gender. Yeah. Because nobody knows. But. As you can see in the title, today is the gender prediction video. It has been a very highly requested video idea that you guys have been requesting. And we figured why not film this video and drop it for you guys, the video right before the gender reveal. So, without further ado, Raylene, or we went to, uh, we got this. Staples. We got this from Staples and Raylene did a little crafty and she wrote some old wives tales on it and we're gonna predict the gender of our baby and just go from there so and we'll explain kind of as we go we'll explain everything everything yeah so <laughs> go ahead and say the okay. first one so the first one is uh dad's weight so there's so an old that? wives tell we can both answer oh, yeah, right. but there's an old wives tell that says if the dad gains weight that means you're having a girl and if the dad maintains their weight so they don't gain any then it's a boy and obviously he has not gained any weight so, so. And it also is still kind of soon, but he hasn't gained any weight, and I don't think he will because he probably would have started already. The thing about it, though, what's scary is just because I don't gain weight regardless. You don't and know. So, what if, if you could, if it what, like, what if it's a girl and you start gaining weight? That is right. Okay, well, we still have time. Uh, so for now, it's the same. So that's a boy. Yeah. And you guys know what we're rooting for, what I think everyone is rooting for is a boy. But of course, Team Healthy, 
We're gonna be excited with whatever. We're just but gonna be... we're not even gonna lie. Literally last week, he was low key leaning towards a girl. He's like, I wonder if it's a girl. But I think it's just we're so in our heads right now because we've waited so long, and now that it's finally coming up, we're just like overthinking. Uh huh. So. All right, next one I'll say. Next one is cravings. So the myth is if she's craving sweet. It's a girl. If she's craving salty, it's a boy. And salty. Salty stuff, spicy. So she's been craving like, all she eats is cucumbers with tajin, lemon with tajin. Pickle. With tajin. And meat. Like, I've been wanting like meat, like steak, tacos. Hayashi. Hayashi. Every day, all day, that's what I want to eat. So. That one is a boy as well. Like Alright guys, we had to fix the lighting because there was a glare coming from the ring light on the board and it's just not the vibe. Yeah. So, next one, go ahead. Is the heartbeat. So, when we got our very first heartbeat, it was at 120... 122. 122. And then our most recent appointment, we actually, it got up to 150... 154. So, we have... No, no it's this. We have to, yeah, we have to circle the most recent one. The first one was 122, and we talked to Ultrasound Lady, and you, you could see it in the video. We talked to Ultrasound Lady, and she said that she believes in the myth of the heart rate. Or some people believe in the myth of the heart rate being under 140. I don't believe it because I've heard women have told me their story where their heartbeat was super high and they had a boy. Well, so. remember, these are all just myths. Yeah, I know. Myths. I'm just saying. So it's, it's like, it's tough. It'd it's be hard crazy. to believe any of these. I mean, the only one that I'm kind of leaning on is maybe the Chinese calendar prediction. But I don't know. We'll have to, we'll just have to wait and see. So next one is morning sickness. She has only had morning, she's 16 weeks, about to be 17 weeks next week, but uh, she's only had morning sickness a count of like three or four times out of that many days. And so we're going to circle no for that because of course. And morning sickness is like when you're constantly throwing up every morning. I've never had that. The only problem I had was like the yellow, acidy like type. the acidy throw up. And that's just because like, I was just like nauseous, but... It wasn't like throwing up. I've had morning sickness with a girl, so I know exactly what that feels like, and it's horrible. All right, so the next one is headaches. I've had headaches. Um, in the beginning of the pregnancy, I had them more than I do now. So I don't know. What would we circle? I mean, I'm still getting like headaches because I literally headaches, just so. had one last night. So we got to circle girl yes. for that one. Next one, skin. So it is if the girl or if Raylene has like soft skin it'd be leaning more towards the girl if she had dry skin it'd be leaning more towards the boy and so she had like a few days maybe a no, week no my skin's dry again feel it right here oh yeah and my lips dry. still my lips your lips are always dry no they're not you're dry your freaking lips look i mean her lips. skin has always been soft so that's the hard part but we'll it's been dry you we'll don't tr we'll it's trust dry. her on this and we'll just say dry we'll just say dry all right, the next one is sleep. I sleep a lot more on my right side than I do my left side, but throughout the night, I'm literally shifting back and forth, back and forth, because I, I, I can't- Our bed just isn't that comfortable. I think it's our bed. I can't get comfortable at all, and like I can't lay on my stomach, so it's just like- You know what I don't like is our bed is starting to like squeak on my it side, is. and so every time I move, it'll be like- Swear. You can hear it. I'm like, bro, it. she's gonna hear it and she gets I don't if hear she it. gets woken up, she gets mad. She's like, bro, you're being so loud. I'm like, alright. Next one, baby bump. You guys all know because Raylene has posted a bunch of pictures of her baby bump so far, and everyone is saying it's screaming boy, it's screaming boy, it's screaming boy. Because I don't know the difference between carrying high and low because obviously He's never been around pregnant women that yeah. much. Yeah, <laughs> and so everyone's saying that she's carrying low. She thinks she's carrying low, so we're gonna go ahead and circle boy for that. Low, low, low. So far, it's looking pretty, uh... So far, I don't we're know. only two points ahead. All right, next one. Chinese calendar. Everyone believes in this shit. Every single person I've never, that we've talked to. With both my pregnancies, I've never did the Chinese calendar. 
And I don't even know how accurate it is. But we can look it but up. But everyone though. checks it. No, but we can look it up. Like oh, like from back then. From back then. But like, I don't know what, what the I, girls' due no, date was. I, don't know, like, stuff. I mean, if we do the math, we can figure it out. Yeah. So the Chinese calendar does say that it is going to be a boy. So we're gonna circle boy. All right, talk a little bit on mom's intuition. Talk a little bit on. Okay, intuition. so my intuition. Okay, I am like. I feel like it's a boy and I'm not just saying that because we want a boy I just feel like this pregnancy has been so different from the girls and I honestly and my when it comes to my belly though I don't remember how low I was carrying with the girls and I feel like the pictures that I have you can't really tell she but she did compare like my belly a, a couple of her old belly pictures to her her belly now and I'll be completely honest they look the they exact look the same, same. They do. Yeah. But um, I feel like my intuition says it's a boy, but I think because like I'm just so in my head and overthinking, I just, I'm kind of like 50-50, but I do feel like it's a boy. Like something is telling me it's a boy. All right, circle boy. it's a boy. Circle boy. All right, last but not least. Dad's intuition. The one that's gonna be right. Now listen, we have had a lot of time since we picked up the envelope because we did the blood test. So it wasn't like we had to wait till 14 weeks to find out the gender. We did the blood test at what, 10? 10 weeks, yeah. At 10 weeks. And so you got to think, it's been a month and a half since we've had the gender reveal or not the gender reveal, but the gender like test Appointment. and the envelope. So it's given me a lot of time to think. And it would be like my mind wouldn't change if we didn't put like all like our pregnancy like experience on social media but everyone and their mom is like i think it's a boy but then there's those tiny people that there's are saying only like three people that we know that think it's a girl yeah anthony my, my dad, dad and your dad yeah they think it's a girl but they also are the three people that always want to be different than everybody just because they want to be able to say I told you so so okay can you stop walking around so that everyone hears your pause bro she literally hears him and she has her back face towards him and she's giving him the side eye and then she goes into my room to sit down but my intuition at the very very beginning of course I want a boy like I feel like every dad needs a boy but when it comes down to like how long we've had to wait and all the time that I've had to think and I also do think like I've never, I've never in my 23 years of living have heard of someone I know that had three girls in a row. I just don't. In his, on his side of the family, it's a lot of boys. That's the thing is I, I think, I think Jesus. It's all up to you. I think so Jesus will tell, to... I think Jesus will be like, I'm going to make him have the first girl in the family. That's, that's what I think. I feel like if anyone has a girl, it's going to be a brother. But you got to, but think about it. This is, it's so weird because we're following, we're literally, we talked about it in our last video or no, we talked about it in the podcast. Mm -hmm. We're legit like replaying my mom and did as life. Right. And so I, that's why I think it's a boy because I'm like, my mom had, had two, two boys, boys and then and had, a had a girl. You had two girls and now yeah. we're going to have a boy. And I, someone, so someone told me they're like, when you, you know, have kids from someone else and then you get with somebody, they give you the opposite. Like, they give you the opposite and sex. And Kuma, my grandma, which she nobody plays boy. around with, she said it's a boy. And, and Pablo's mom. You know that Mexican mom intuition, and she's like, I see it in your face, it's a boy. And, and your like, mom thinks it's a boy? <laughs> my mom thinks it's a boy. Or my she wants it to be a boy. She thinks it's a boy. My sister thinks it's a boy, too, because, I mean, my mom and my sister, they've been through, like, you know, both pregnancies with me, and they're like, this one's definitely different. This is the thing, though. I, Justice told me this, too, which is... Something I never even thought about. He said, I'm curious if it's a girl, I'm curious to see how the girl is going to look different, from like girls. differently yeah. from the girls. He's, he like, he's excited. Like if it's a girl, he's going to be excited to see what features they have with the girl and what features I they don't. I feel like my jeans are strong and they're going to look like their mom. Come on, bro. They're going to look like they mommy. Come on, bro. Mm. Come on. Come on. Anyway. Okay, if the baby, what's one feature that you definitely want the baby to have? Like out of both of us. Definitely your nose, not my nose. <laughs> your lips. Maybe your top lip, my bottom lip. Yeah. Do your you eyebrows, know? my hairline. Yeah. My eyes. Because I have, I low key have like a receding hair. I want the baby to have my eyes because I have big eyes. You do have like big brown eyes. And then my ears. I hope the baby my just ears. like gets blessed 
You don't like my ears? No, I'm sick. Yours are tiny as fuck. You have, exactly. You have giraffe ears. Ex what I, the fuck? I got them Italian big old ears. And then the baby definitely needs to have my toes because... Oh, okay. no. No. If it's a boy, I don't care how his toes look. But if it's a girl, she better have my cute toes. Anyway, so as you can see, there is three points for the girls. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh eight God. points for the boy. So I think we will all... Including you guys be, be shocked so if, it's if it's a girl. Everyone's going to be Everyone's shook. Be so shook. shook. I'm curious. I'm excited no, to see. This is what I'm scared of. I'm scared of like the blood test being wrong and then we go to the ultrasound and it's the total opposite. The blood test is the most accurate. I know, but if they like accidentally touched it with like their bare skin or some way somehow, nah, like people don't be then doing, they're like they don't touch it with their bare skin, it comes in, they they put it straight into the jar. The blood goes straight into the jar. You can't touch it. And you then they know. get a little piece and they you put know. it in the thing you and they look. Know. Anyways, boy wins right now. So I'm excited to see what people show up in pink and what people show up in blue. And then what people show up in neutral that are excited for either gender. Yeah. So, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we are super excited, just as excited as you guys, if not even more, for the gender reveal and to find out the gender of our baby. The pregnancy has been going smooth so far. Mm -hmm. And we're just excited to get past this gender reveal so that we can start shopping for clothes and the nursery. The nursery stuff. Um, we also did just receive our first package of nursery furniture. Shout out to Baby Leto. Go ahead and check them out. Uh, I'll be showing you guys a bunch of the furniture that we got, but they basically furnished our entire our entire yeah. nursery. So all we have is like decorations and stuff. But and like colors. We just aren't setting it up until we get into our new house. Yeah, and so be yeah. But without further ado, love you guys, and we will see you guys at the gender reveal. Once again, thank you to Simper for sponsoring today's video. Go check out the links down below.